now? Oh, I don't know. The fact the new book was due nine weeks ago. You can't rush genius. Genius, Richard? Try blockage. I heard you haven't written in months. That's ridiculous. My sources are very reliable. Well, they're wrong. They better be. If I don't have a new manuscript on my desk in the next three weeks, Black Pawn is prepared to demand the return of your advance. You wouldn't dare. Try me. Just try me. You know, I already returned that advance. I spent it divorcing you. Really, Dollface? Who does homework at a party? I have a test next week. So do I. Liver function. Don't see me studying. All right, give me a hit of the bubbling. Make that too? Hey, kiddo, sales must be slipping. They're only serving the soft stuff. Hey, Dad. Hey, sweetie. So, mother. Shh, shh, shh. Not so loud. I'm still hoping to get lucky. Did you tell Gina I was having trouble writing? Oh, I told her nothing of the sort. I... I may have said something about spending your days moping in your underwear, waiting for post time at Belmont, but hey, you're an artist, it's expected. We had a deal. I let you live with us, but you don't talk about my work. What's to talk about? You haven't done any since I moved Graham. in. Well, he has it. Whatever I have and haven't done, I would just appreciate it if you wouldn't share it with my ex-wife. Oh, what's the big deal? Hang on, sweetie, I just got a hit on my radar. Bingo, no ring. Stand back, kids. Mama's going fishing. <laughs> you should have me committed. For what? Letting her move in? I think it's sweet. Won't be when I strangle her. You know I'm only 15, right? You're an old soul. Yeah, well, me and my soul can wait. When I was your age. I can't tell that story. That's wildly inappropriate, which oddly is my point. Don't you want to have wildly inappropriate stories that you can't tell your children? I think even if it was for the both of us. Life should be an adventure. You want to know why I killed Derek? There were no more surprises. I knew exactly what was going to happen every moment of every scene. It's just like these parties that become so predictable. I'm your biggest fan. Where do you get your ideas? In the ever popular, will you sign my chest? That one I don't mind so much. Yeah, well, FYI, I do. Just once, I'd like someone to come up to me and say something new. Mr. Castle? Where would you like it? Detective Kate Beckett, NYPD. We need to ask you a few questions about a murder that took place earlier tonight. That's new. Mr. Castle? You've got quite a rap sheet for a best-selling author. Disorderly conduct, uh, resisting arrest. Boys will be boys. It says here that you stole a police horse? Borrowed. Ah, and you were nude at the time. It was spring. And every time the charges were dropped. What can I say? The mayor is a fan, but if it makes you feel any better, I'd be happy to let you spank me. Mr. Castle. This whole bad boy charm thing that you've got going might work for bin bets and celebutantes. Me? I work for a living. So that makes you one of two things in my world. Either the guy who makes my life easier or the guy who makes my life harder. And trust me, you do not want to be the guy who makes my life harder. Okay. Allison Tisdale, daughter of real estate mogul Jonathan Tisdale. She's cute. She's dead. Did you ever meet her? Book signing? Charity event? It's possible. She's not in my little black book, if that's what you're asking. What about this guy? Marvin Fisk, small claims lawyer. Most of my claims tend to be on the um, large side. So what's this got to do with me? Fisk was found murdered in his office two weeks ago. I didn't put it together until we saw the Tisdale crime scene tonight. Flowers for your grave. And this is how we found Marvin Fisk, right out of Hell Hath No Fury. Looks like I have a fan. Yeah, a really deranged fan. Oh, you don't look deranged to me. What? Hell hath no fury. Angry Wiccans out for blood. Come on. Only hardcore castle groupies read that one. Do any of these groupies ever write you letters? Disturbing letters? Oh, all my fan mail is disturbing. It's an occupational hazard. Because sometimes in cases like this, we find that the killer, killer attempts, attempts to... to contact the subject of his obsession. I'm also pretty well versed in psychopathic methodologies. Another occupational hazard. And do you know you have gorgeous eyes? So I take it that you won't have any objection to us going through your mail. Knock yourself out. Can I get copies of those? 
copies? I have this poker game. It's mostly other writers, Patterson, Cannell, you know, bestsellers. You have no idea how jealous those would make them. Jealous? That I have a copycat? Oh my gosh, in my world, that's the red badge of honor. That's the criminal Cooper's death. People are dead, Mr. Castle. I'm not asking for the bodies, just the pictures. I think we're done here. Thank you.